Welcome back to Sovita Everything guys. Today we got a steak sauce experiment. Check it out. For today's cook, I'm going to be testing these four sauces to find out if any one of them works better than just my salt, pepper and garlic. I'm going to be adding them to the bag with these beautiful Manhattan steaks and first thing I got to do is show you how to make them. I started off with a beautiful sterling silver New York strip. This is choice grade and the first thing I did is cut steak out of it. Check it out. To make Manhattan fillet, you're basically removing all the connective tissue and also the fat and turning it to a beautiful filet mignon with incredible flavor. Let me show it to you. And here we have all of our Manhattan fillets. Now in order to keep its shape, I am trussing it with butcher's twine. Now that we have these beautiful steaks ready, it is time for our sauces. And I started off with Shulas, then we went to Hens 57, and probably the most famous steak sauce of all, A1. Now I was gonna use Worcestershire sauce, however, I found it that it's a lot more interesting if I make my own sauces for you guys to try it out at home. Now I never waste any of my meat. Even the fat, I save it from many other things, such as hamburgers, beef talon. But today we're gonna make a sauce out of these scraps. I started off by grinding all the meat, the old fashioned way. Now that we have choppily fine, it is time to cook them. So let's do it. Making a steak sauce, what we're looking for is that nice, beautiful brown throughout the entire meat. And we really want it to stick it to the pan because we're gonna be using all that goodness to our sauce. Once the browning has formed throughout the pan and stuck to the pan, throw in a little bit of white onions, red wine, and deglaze the pan, which basically means for you to remove all that goodness that is left from the bottom of the pan. That's where all your flavor comes from. Once the pan has been deglazed, go ahead and throw in chicken stock and let it reduce to half. Then strain all the juice out so that we have a nice smooth sauce. Throw it back in the pan and with a whisk, add some butter. Now under low heat, stir the butter so that it can emulsify into the sauce. Once you see that nice smooth texture, it is time to strain it once again and your sauce is done. Now that we have all of our sauces ready, it is time to season the steaks and I'm seasoning them with salt, pepper and garlic powder. Then I'm adding them into the bag with all the sauces. Now that we have these wonderful steaks ready, I am making an incredible side dish which is twice baked potatoes. For this recipe, you want to really look for a potato that is quite round so you have a wonderful presentation in the end. It is important to wash them thoroughly before starting, as I did with these. Then I started off by adding a little bit of olive oil and roasted them for 45 minutes under 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you poke them and they feel like butter, you know your potatoes are ready. Then make a pocket and remove all the inside potato. Now smash them real good, season them with butter, heavy cream, cheddar cheese, cream cheese, chives, and salt and pepper. And remember, exact amount in the description down below. Now if you're like me and you like a little bit of heat, go ahead and throw in a little bit of cayenne pepper. Now all there's left to do is throw them back inside of the potato, let me show it to you. To keep a nice tall shape with the potatoes, I decided to put the cover inside. Now stuff them with the mashed potato mix and bake them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. I'm cooking these beautiful steaks at 131 degrees Fahrenheit for one and a half hour. Well guys, I gotta tell you something. They all smell very, very different. And my mom is like, why they all different? What happened, my mom? They, huh? smell, they smell good, but they smell weird. They do smell quite different. But like always, everybody, I'm going to remove the butcher's twine. We're gonna pat these beautiful steaks dry. And we're gonna go outside and sear them. And I know they don't look that good right now. 
But watch this. My good friend Ninja, we have a lot of stakes today. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, very good. We have a lot of numbers today, A, B, and C, and D, and I want to know which one you like best. Sounds good? Let's do it. Enough talking, let's cut him. Let's do it. All right, Ninja, we have a lot of steaks and we're gonna try them out. I wanna know your honest opinion, which one you like best. Go for the first one. There's gonna be a lot of tests in here, man. Let's see, ooh, really tender, really juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Filet mignon to perfection. Filet mignon to perfection, I love it, yes! <laughs> love it. Very good, you like that one? Love it. My turn. Super tender. Super tender. Wow. Guys, this one is fantastic. Mama, what do you think? Steak eight. Very, very tender. Mm. Wow. I don't know if I'm extra hungry today, but I could already give this a delicious. Let's go for the second one. Mm -hmm. Really flavorful. Lot of taste, guys. Lot of taste in there. Can you tell any difference? Yeah, the spices got in there even better. You like this one better than the yeah, first one? Yeah. Very good. A lot of spices. My turn. Oh yeah. You can tell the difference for sure. Yeah. Mmm. A little vinegary. You feel the little vinegary taste? Something got in there deeper than the other one. So far, A or B? Wow. Oh, he have a hard time. Mama, what do you think? Time. All right, second one. Is it different? I prefer A. You prefer A. All right, let's go for the third one. Super tender, everybody. It really resembles a filet mignon. Mm. I don't know if that's good or bad. Soury. 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 Weird, different taste. Yeah. In a good mm. way or in a bad way? Mm, the way that I don't like it. <laughs> All right, my turn. The tenderness is incredible. Mm. You mm. get that, that sour little flavor, it's weird. If I tell you what it is, you're gonna know right away what it is. Yeah, it's you different. You know what? I'm gonna throw it in there. It, it reminds me grass-fed beef. <laughs> grass-fed beef? Yeah, it has that <laughs> sour flavor. It's not grass-fed. I'm not so sure if I like it better than the other one. You? No, no, no. no. The, the number B taste. The best one? About it, yeah. Mama, what do you think? Mm, really good flavor. A little bit vinegary. You like that flavor, Mama? I like that flavor. All right, let's go for the last one, Ninja. Mmm. <laughs> That's how God created filet mignon. <laughs> That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be? All the time. Really? Yes. So, the last one is the best. Yes. Very good. My turn. Yes. I agree. The last one is best. <laughs> it's like, turn up the light, let's go. Mm -hmm. That's it. The last one is a lot better, everybody. Mama? Mm. Now, this one, I can say that I can actually taste steak on it. So, which one you like best? D. All right, Ninja, we have, this is the steak sauce experiment. So, instead of eating the steak with the actual sauce, I marinate it to see if it's good. So, the first one, we have Shula. Heck is that? You ever heard about Shula's restaurant? Very expensive restaurant. Don Shula? <laughs> Don Shula, yes. Don't you let my homie? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A is good. Yeah. B was Heinz 57 Ninja. That's the second one. It has a really nice flavor. It put a lot of flavor in it. Second one, the probably the most popular steak sauce in the world, A1. Heck yeah, man. But you didn't like it. <laughs> you didn't like it. <laughs> it's I not supposed it. to be used like that. <laughs> But A1 is the thing. Mom, I liked it, right, Mama? I liked it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of A1 sauce, but uh, I don't know. You didn't like it either. You were honest in the beginning. I like A1 after it's cooked. 
It's amazing. Are you ready for the last one? Yes. Has nothing. <laughs> That's why. <fine. laughs> we recommend for you not to marinate it in steak sauce, everybody. Don't put nothing on it, man. It will taste better. That's messed up. Yes. Why would you do that? Exactly. It's such a beautiful little cow. Now, if you want to eat the steak sauce, eat it after. Correct? Yes. Listen, get some A1. Don't put it on all of it, just a little corner and try it like that. If you like it, then you put it in the whole thing. Exactly. Now, I did make a homemade sauce. An oil sauce? Yes, but this one is completely homemade. What is I, that? I have homemade Butter? from scratch. This is the way it should be done. All right, Ninja, go for it. Then you tell me how you like that sauce. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. How do you like that one? Love it. Are you ready to try the potatoes? Yes. Let me know what you think, my friend. Let's see. Twice baked potato on the test. Mmm. Twice baked potato. Mm. Approved? Really good. Ninja approved. Very good. Now my turn. Mmm. Super creamy. No, I'm done with keto for a little bit. Why? I thought you were in love with keto. It's hard to do keto when you have a pregnant wife. Congratulations! Ah, ah. We have another Piccinini coming on. Oh, nice! Mama is having a baby, everybody. Mm. Make sure you give a nice congratulations to Mama. Do we know if it's a boy or a girl? No. Yeah. Yes, you do know. Tell us, Mama. Next week. Next week? <laughs> oh, Mama. Guys, this is it. We definitely recommend do not use your steak sauce to marinate it. It will be better. Don't do you it. You want the sauce? Eat it after. Agree? <laughs> Don't do it, man. <laughs> that thing is not supposed to be there. There's no sauce needed if the steak is very good quality. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. And remember, if you're interested in anything I use, everything is on the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Let me give you guys a quick tip because the twice baked potato, everybody, is quite a bit of work. I did it last night. So I prepared everything last night. Worth it. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. That I covered with film and I was able to reheat it today and melt all the cheese inside. So if you're gonna make the twice baked potato, everybody, I definitely recommend that you do it the night before. It is a lot better and you can make a lot of it because it's quite a bit of work. And is it worth it? Twice. Is ba it? It's worth baked it. potato is good. Twice baked potato is awesome. It's even better. It's <laughs> Twice as good? Twice as good? No, bro, it's like 10 times as good. <laughs> this thing is good, bro. But tell me the truth. Mm. Potato or the steak? Potato, bro. <laughs> potato is the... Potato is the thing, man. I know you were gonna curse. <laughs> potato is the thing. See you on the next one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.